Welcome to Misslingen. This is the new map by Simulator Modding NL and it's set in Sweden. So I did actually do a first look video on this map just a few days ago and the response was actually really good. So that has now prompted me to move on to a let's play on here. Bearing in mind this is still the same version that I used in the first look video so it's not completely finished, it is still work in progress but it's very very close to completion. Um, but because of this it means that the barn doors do not currently open but very soon uh, I believe they are going to. So that'll just be a very minor issue, which doesn't really matter. Um, and then, yeah, it's just got a few more details to be put in as well. Uh, but that's not going to affect the gameplay. So let me take you on a tour of the farm. Whilst I'm doing this, I'm going to just very quickly explain how I'm going to go about this Let's Play and how it's going to pan out. Hopefully, it's going to be a really good Let's Play. That is my plan. It is not going to be like um, some other Let's Plays which I've done, especially in 17, where... I start off with some machines and some money and then I end up feeling like I haven't actually got enough machinery and I can't afford to buy any so then I have to go and add a load of money in uh, essentially cheating. It's not going to be like that. We're going to make sure that this is completely cheat free but I am still allowed to take out loans and that sort of stuff. Uh, things which the game has intended you to be able to do. So I start off with all these machines here and one hundred and one thousand pounds, almost one hundred and two. That should be enough to be able to run this farm properly. However, we need to take into account the land, and obviously I do have some land, which is good, but land is not cheap. And well, for example, you can see that just one field here is uh, more than what I actually have, one hundred and fifty-eight thousand pounds. So, despite this, it is going to be a challenge, which I think a lot of people are looking for. So it's going to be. Not necessarily realistic, but just it's not going to be involving any cheats. So no adding money behind the scenes or just miraculously finding a vehicle. So, we have this. Now this tractor actually only costs £2,800. I suppose you can, you can see why, but having said that, it is a decent tractor. I've just used it to tow the header trailer back with the header on it. And although, yeah, it's not very powerful, it's not very big... I can see this being a really handy tractor. And inside you can see we've got so much detail as well. We have a chainsaw, um, we have some air defenders of course, fuel, extinguisher, and a box full of handy bits. You just never know when you need some handy bits. And of course, yes, it has an engine too, which is always a good thing. So it's just going to be a really good yard tractor for doing a bit of shunting around and stuff. I do also have Follow Me installed. I'm not going to set a limit to the amount of workers I can use, so yeah, we just have as many workers as I desire in the field it is just basically going to be no cheating. Um, we then have, of course, something very beautiful here. We have the class Lexian 540, which is big and expensive. So it's nice to have this in the Let's Play. Uh, it's nothing too big. It's only got a 6 meter header, as you can see here. So, yeah, that's perfect, really. Perfect of what we need. Um, some of the fields are actually quite large. We then have, let me just put the front loader up so you can see the bonnet. The Fent Favorite 615 LSA Turbo. This is not the one in the base game. This is actually a converted one from 17. Um, but it is a very nice tractor. We did use it in the recent multiplayer video. This is also the 615 chip. Uh, you can also get the 615. So it's a bit more powerful as well. For all the extra oomph you may require. Okay, so yeah, that's, that's the tractor situation. Oh no, it's not, sorry. We have another one around here. Yes, I, I just forgot that we do have a brand new... New Holland T6175. Um, so yes, 175 is the biggest tractor which we have, 175 horsepower, um, which is more than enough to be honest because we only have these implements which do have to be changed as soon as possible. We do have £101,000 to go at, so that will be something I do almost straight away. And if I ever need to use a flatbed trailer, well we have the all-in-one Stroutman SEK802 just here, and with this you can just take off the sides completely and use it as a flatbed. So that is going to be a great thing to have around the farm. I think with the exception of the sprayer and the tether and possibly a mower, uh, that is everything for the machinery. Um, so yeah, we really do have a limited amount of things to go on here, but that is nice. I guess we could fix up that thing eventually. <laughs> it's a tractor, we do technically own it. Um, but yes, I think really today what we need to focus on is actually building up this farm, getting it going so that it doesn't just completely fail. So just gonna, I'm just going to show you the land which we currently own. We have this field here, this is our grass field. 
We also own this piece of land up here. It's just cultivated, so no crops in here at all. At least I don't think there's a crop in here. No, pretty sure there isn't. So that's going to be available to us. Yeah, just cultivated. Um, we also have this paddock down here as well. I believe this one is ours, uh, so we can mow this at some point. I've just been thinking and I don't think we have a baler so we do need to look into buying a baler at some point. Obviously nothing too big uh, because 175 horsepower is my largest tractor. I think actually thinking about it. What is the 615 turbo? Wow I'm actually pleasantly surprised it's 210 horsepower which means actually no the other one is not our biggest tractor this one is uh, but the other one is obviously the newest. This one over here is 58 horsepower. Yay 58. Now, of course, I don't know the exact situation with the release of this map. I know that originally the idea was to have this released when Simulator Modding NL's YouTube channel hit 10,000 subscribers. It is still around 2,000 off, so I don't know if that is still the plan. Obviously, it may be subject to change, not too sure. But, yeah, if you are interested in following the progress of this map, that is a good place to go to. And, of course, subscribing will potentially help the release of the map. I'm not too sure. But, anyway, I'll leave that to Simulator Modding NL. Now I've just left the Fent tractor here because what I need to do with this is primarily use it for front loader work. I can obviously still use it with the front loader on, but the reason why I'm not detaching it is because, for whatever reason, it's got a bit of a sticky front loader bracket and even if you do detach the front loader, it won't properly come off. So just a very simple fix on that mod uh, should get that fully working, but yeah, I'm just going to keep the front loader on all the time. Of course, when you first download the mod, when you first buy it in the game, it won't have a front loader. I just added the front loader bracket anyway. So for this first job, which is going to be drilling the field, we're going to use the brand new T6 New Holland 175. And I think probably, uh, because we do have the power here, we're going to move away from the power harrow and um, very, very small C drill. So I think my first wise thing to do will be to change these for a direct drill. It's just a good step to go for. Now, having said this, I'm not just going to go crazy and keep buying stuff because that would be one way of ruining the episode, in fact, the series altogether. But I'm going to probably turn it into a, an interactive series. So I do listen to my viewers and we have a bit of uh, viewer input as well. So if we have some votes, we can then determine the direction of the the series and hopefully it all ends up really well and it's just a really enjoyable series to uh, to watch and of course for me to play uh, now we need to go left here I do like the New Holland blue power which is this tractor here it has the slightly different shade of blue and it's all very metallic but it looks good I, I do like that so yes anyway we're gonna sell these I would have thought because we have just started they're going to be still worth quite a bit of money because yeah, they're brand new, they've never really seen much work. We have inherited the farm, so I don't know how old they are as such, but uh, certainly for us they are they are very new. Now, I am new to the place, but I think this is actually storaged over here. Um, yeah, it is. You have to go up here to sell machinery, and then I believe... Oh, Cracky. I am determined. I think the spawn point is down the bottom there. So if we drop these off just over here. Well, this is interesting. This is actually the livestock market just here. So if you want to buy horses or sheep, just come to here and you can buy them. Uh, of course, when it's released. And this is the, the tractor dealership. Uh, I think the, uh, the cell icon might be currently missing. Like I say, it is work in progress, so this is expected. Um, but the ATM just here is all fully functioning and the shop itself uh, but that's fine I can just sell it from the uh, the garage so we'll get rid of those two we have loads of different items here let me just find the correct ones yeah so they're eleven thousand one hundred ninety five pounds and nine thousand seven hundred and four that's pretty good really because we do have I think thirty something thousand uh, put into the direct drill Cedars. This is oh wow, seventy six. That's much more than I was expecting. Um, that is yeah, that is quite high. But we also have others which don't require cultivating first. Of course, cultivating isn't an issue because it is already cultivated. But in the future, it won't necessarily be. So I've just sold that, which has a three meter working width. This has a three meter working width. Uh, I think the difference might just be the capacity of seed because it, it can't. 
fertilize at the same time. Uh, so then we can move to this one here. That can fertilize as well, 3.6 meters, that's pretty good. Uh, this one is six meters, which obviously is very good, but it can't fertilize. And then this one here is nine meters. And yeah, that's, that's a bit out of our horsepower range and price range. So I wonder if the Kuhn, the Kuhn DLC from 17, standard in 19, I wonder if that is actually the best way to go here. Because it's 4 metres, so it's like a happy medium, it's bigger than the one we sold, it's also fairly cheap. Of course we have to couple this up with some other pieces of equipment as well. Um, but it just seems to be better. It's not a diode drill. I'm going to keep justifying things. Now those of you who get upset with my playstyle, You'd be pleased to know that I have just thought about this properly. And I have just actually downloaded a mod off ModHub, and there is a super version of uh, the D9. So we've got the D9 4000, it's also the 3000, but that's kind of pointless because it's the same size as the one we just sold. Um, but this is the 4 meter version, and it's still only £19,500. So this is a wise choice. Of course, we do have this massive thing here for a pound, but that is just to be ignored, basically. Um, because I, I just changed it for a different series. So this, I think, would be the wise choice. We get an extra meter. Yeah, it's not too much, but we're not paying a fortune here. And um, I think, yeah, the, the direct drill is good, but that's going to have to. That's just going to have to be something we have to work towards. We can't just go spending nearly all of our money, like two thirds of our money, on that straight away. So we have different designs, which is going to add more money to it. We don't need a handrail. Um, Hmm. Again, I don't need to have the alternative wheel, but it's interesting. And then we've got disc markers or without disc markers. Now, I think it adds £1,500, which is incredible. But I think I can do it without, to be honest. Um, it would look better, though, because I don't have GPS. Well, oh, fine, we'll go with it. We'll go with it. We'll spend the extra £1,500. Um, you'd think they'd be included, but there you go. It's just the way it is. I also need to get some seed. Now, because I'm unfamiliar with the map at the moment, I don't know exactly uh, if we have uh, seed refill points, but I'm just going to buy some. Of course, if we do have some seed refill points, I will use them in the future. I'll just buy a bag of seed. So actually, looking at this, that is going to be a very good width for this tractor. It looks just right for it, really. Not too big, and well, definitely not too small. Ah, now I wonder if my pallets will spawn down the bottom too. Hopefully they do. Right, so we have uh, £900 for 1,000 litres or £1,800 for 2,000 litres. So I'm just going to buy the standard because it's exactly the same price and this one is guaranteed to work with this drill. Uh, the drill is a mod, so yeah, we'll get two of those actually. I think it's going to take quite a few to be able to do the entire field. So we'll head down here later with the Fent tractor and pick up the remaining pallet. In fact, there's going to be two. Uh, right, let's close that. Lift up. And we get to work. Now, we need to choose a suitable crop. Now, I think it would be wise to do a crop which is going to be not too strenuous to harvest, so not involving baling as well, just for the first one. And then after that, when we do have a baler, we can obviously do a cereal crop. So I'm thinking something like oilseed rape, which is canola, essentially. It is quite wide for this road, which is a concern, but I don't think it's going to be doing much road work. Just this first trip over to the farm, and then really, we're not going to be travelling on the road at all yet anyway, since we don't own any fields away from the farm. It's all within the surrounding area. Uh, having said that, I do want to buy some fields away from the yard eventually, because otherwise we're going to be confined to just one very small section. I must mine these trees with the overhang. But with the 4 meter drill, we should now be able to at least cover the ground fairly quickly. And actually the access to that field, how would we get there? I would say, just thinking about it, it's a bush. I would say that just over here is going to be another way. Because from what I could see, there was a fence separating the grass paddock and that arable field. So is it through the trees? If it is, that's a very nice drive. Oh wow, look at this. Through the water. 
I think I overlooked this place in my first video. But that's fine, that's why I do a series as well. Because you don't want to see everything in the first video. Yep, I think this is it. Pretty sure that's my field. Uh, it is separated by a ditch, so I don't want to drive into the ditch. We've got canola set. I can put the markers out. And we can begin. Now having said this uh, about me beginning to do this work, I will likely, as I've already mentioned, be using a worker as well. Because I'm not I can't be restricted to doing everything myself. We'd be on one job for a very, very long time. And it would soon get dull. So because this isn't a uh, a drill which can put fertilizer down as well, I obviously have to either spread fertilizer or spray. So that is another job for me to sort out. We can get that set up on a different tractor. I suppose the best tractor is going to be the fence. I can't really think of uh, the 58 horsepower tractor doing it. Now should I go like this? I think I will do because otherwise the worker is going to get very confused. Usually I'd miss a piece and then continue a bit further down. So to save the trouble of the worker getting confused I think we'll just do it this way. But actually looking at this we are already getting on with the job fairly quickly. So maybe I can do it myself just in a time lapse. We could just time lapse this section and then move on to the spraying with this tractor in a minute or two. We'll see how we go. Anyway, this is, there's no rush. This is going to be a nice laid back series. I know my other series has been a bit full on, uh, jumping jobs fairly rapidly. So this is going to be a nice change. For anybody who likes that kind of series, this should be for you. And I promise not to, to cheat. I'm not going to add money in or machinery. We're going to do this properly. We might lease. We, we potentially might lease, but that's not cheating. Well, we've almost finished here. Once I have finished, I'm going to take it back over to the farm and then we can get the sprayer set up. Now, I don't think I should spray it straight away. I think that'd be a fairly strange thing to do. Um, I think it has to germinate first. So we're going to try and do it like that. I should also review my settings to make sure withering isn't on. I've always been so tempted to do a series with withering on, but it just is so unpredictable. It goes from looking like a, a perfectly healthy crop to, in a split second, turning to a grey withered mess so because you can't see the transformation there's no transition between them it's uh, very off-putting so I'm not going to do withering um, because of that basically so if I just go onto here we can see eventually we have weeds on I think we'll keep yeah, we'll keep weeds on for the time being because the fields are fairly small if we get loads of fields I'll turn weeds off because it will become a bit unmanageable Periodic ploughing, that should be on. Uh, lime requirement on, yeah, that's fine. Crop destruction on, withering off. Plant growth fast, we'll put that to normal. There we go. I probably should have spread some lime before I put the drill into the field, but it would require uh, either leasing or buying the spreader straight away, which I'm not really prepared to do. I want to get some income to begin with so we can sell this, we can sell the canola, and then use that money to buy some other stuff and increase the yields of this field. Uh, and also, I need to get to work in the grass fields as well. Right, so that's that finished. Uh, we'll turn the drill off. Actually, we've just seen a tiny bit here. Not looking for perfection, but I don't want to leave any big chunks, because that would be ridiculous. Just wasting land. There we go. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so let's take a drive back over to the farm. Over this, uh, what looks to be a, a freshly laid sand or gravel track. It's very rough actually. Um, and then it has water at the bottom. So is that a river which runs past the farm or is it just that the uh, the track sits in a puddle? Maybe it does. I guess it's a low point because of the the way the uh, the rain will run down this track, down the road. It has to go somewhere. 
I don't know how much of that uh, forest we actually own as well. I don't know if our land does encroach into the forest. If it does, then great, because it means we have some trees to cut down and log up in the future. I like the little birdhouse just there too. Nice. Um, okay, so let's put this back into the shed. I, I do look forward to being able to go into those sheds as well. Hopefully it won't be too long. Actually, it might be a bit too wide for there. I put it over here to begin with, and, and eventually it can go in there. You can see in, but yeah, the doors just don't currently open with it being work in progress. There we go. And interestingly, we still have over £100,000, and we only had just short of 102000 I think it was, when we started. So that's not bad going. We had to buy seed. I still have a load of seed. And also the replacement seed drill. Right, so that can go on to here just briefly and because that's not required straight away oh we have a pressure washer too because it's not required straight away I can spend this time uh, actually bringing those two pallets back one of them is partially filled uh, the other one is brand new it's completely full I should use this trailer it needs to be adjusted it needs to be put into the workshop uh, to have the sides taken off and now, do we have a workshop set up here yet? We might do. Yeah, we do, just there. Actually, maybe that is the sell point for the map instead of over at the, uh, the shop. Not too sure, but even so, we do have the trigger. Uh, it is just the workshop. Right, okay. That's fine. Let's customise. And we need to put it to bail loading. That's free. That's good. No expense using my own time and now we can take it over to the vehicle dealership uh, to put those two pallets onto there and I should probably bring back whilst I'm at it some liquid fertilizer because we do need some liquid fertilizer for the sprayer as I've said I should look into uh, more detail when it comes to a spray tank or something liquid fertilizer tank and a seed refill point in the yard um, I'll do that when we go back. I don't think there is one, but I'm usually wrong, so that's a good sign. Of course, I have no rear weight, so as for how much we can pick up is another issue. There'll be no issues with the seed, but when it comes to the liquid fertilizer IBC, they're around a ton, so lifting a ton with this tractor without a rear weight might be troublesome. In fact, Lifting up a pallet might be troublesome, because you know what I'm like with pallets? Uh, these things tend to get stuck. So far, so good. I don't know how much these weigh. You would have thought they'd be close to a ton as well. It's a thousand litres, but a litre isn't necessarily a kilogram. Okay. Should be space for three on here. You can put them side by side. If we have to, I will do. That went alright. I actually managed to pick that first one up without it getting stuck. Can I get two in a row? I think it's fairly unlikely. Yeah, an IBC isn't going to fit on there. If I put that at the front as well, then an IBC will fit. Wow, I actually did get two in a row. Nice. This is an achievement. It's a sign of good things to come. Right. Fertilizer tank, £3,200. This is a, a, a bigger expense. And herbicide, which I will have to possibly buy if I allow the weeders to get too big. And yes, we do need to get a weeder. Um, so this is why I didn't spend whatever it was, £72,000 on a direct drill straight away. It would have been probably an irresponsible thing to do. We would have been struggling to uh, succeed. Am I picking this up the right way? I don't think so. Anyway. Fun. And then you've got other things which you don't really prepare for, such as needing a rear weight, so I now have to buy a rear weight, to be able to transport these things back. Hopefully I can put the weight either on the front or on the trailer. Or actually I might be able to tow the trailer with the weight. Possibly. We will see. There are so many different possibilities. A ton should do it. I mean, a ton <laughs> should counterbalance it. Fent green! Fent green! Yes, we'll go for fent green. Um... Why not? It only adds a hundred pounds to the to the value of it. Hundred pounds for paint. That is some extortionate paint. 
and yes, just conveniently it has spawned behind the IVC, but that's not an issue. I thought that was the same shade, but it isn't. Not the same shade as this Fent Green. There are two Fent Greens, classic and whatever it was. Was it Nature? Natural? I don't know. We'll take a look. Uh, John Deere, Nature Green, yeah. And Classic. I just bought Classic. I thought that would be closer to it. Anyway, doesn't matter. The front loader is the same colour, so it's all good. Oh, look at that. Oh, he's still doing a bit of a, a wheelie. Just adds to the fun, though. Right, there we go. Put a strap around that. Yeah, those things are heavy. Maybe two. Oh, okay. Okay, yeah, just one. They, they're very heavy. I think they are a ton, so I'm surprised that that was still lifting up. Now, can you tow that with that? You can do. But the hose, <laughs> the hose can't reach, so it has to just dangle. Okay, fine. Um, we'll pretend we've actually just uh, put it safely, secure, securely somewhere on the on the trailer. Uh, let's go. Yeah, that seems stable. Okay. Well, that could have gone much worse. So I think I'm going to prepare for next time, which will be spraying the field. Uh, we'll also have to most likely weed it as well and then once it's been harvested I do want to spread some lime so I need to prepare for getting a spreader if I don't have one I'll have to double check my garage because I don't know exactly what we have and also we need to bring back some bags of lime now I know how heavy those bags of lime are um, if we go for those big bags and I can't really move them not with this setup this tractor won't move them even the Manitou, the articulated Manitou, that struggles. So it's going to be tough uh, transporting big bags of lime. So what I might do is just buy them and fill them up at the shop or just get the smaller pallets, whichever is uh, easier, really. Anyway, here we are. But I am seeing the potential in this map. It is a decent map. Um, I think for work in progress as well, it's uh, very good. It just has... I always get a feel for a map, just after 20 minutes of playing. I can tell if I'm going to like it or not, and I don't tend to admit if I do like a map or not. Um, but I think, yeah, this has got a, a good feel to it. There is something about it. It's reminding me, weirdly, of Naveswell from FS15. I don't know why, because it is completely different. It looks nothing like it. But it's just a feeling that you get. I don't know if it's the, the narrow roads or something. I don't know, but... That's a good sign, because I love Naveswell Farm. It's a very, very good map, which uh, unfortunately died when 17 came out. It never came to 17 or 19, so... Well, not, not, not yet, anyway. It might come to 19 eventually. Right, there we go. Conveniently, somebody's put some pallets there, so I'll just put that... Okay, I've put it on a watering can and a jerry can. Not a good idea. Let's just fill it up. That would be an even better idea. How much is it going to take? Judging by the fill rate, all of it. 90% full. Uh, yeah, that, that's quite heavy. Good job we have a weight. I might have to get a blue weight as well. Now, let's take a look here for some different things. We have seeds. So we do have seeds. I didn't have to bring my seed up here at all. Uh, and we do have something over here as well. This is good. Oh, that's the storage area for grain. So that's nice. And this is silage, I guess. Yep, that's silage. We also have... I think it's just a ramp for loading things up. Um, it really does pay off to actually examine the yard first. But it's fine, because I did need the seed anyway. We were down at the, at the store when we, when we bought it. Um, do we have anything for lime and fertilizer? There's something over here. Well, that's something. Certainly something that could be diesel. I'm not entirely sure. But it doesn't matter. I'm going to figure it out. There are, there are jerry cans underneath, so it's likely... Wassa. Bear with me. Going by Google Translate, it means water. That is good. Uh, so, yeah, it looks like we definitely have seed. Um, so that's a good step in the right direction. I just wish I could go in the barns, but um, 
yeah, just a matter of time, I'm hoping. We'll put that trailer there. Actually, no, I'll move it. I'll move it. I want to keep this uh, Let's Play fairly neat. But we are going to wrap things up in a minute. So, hopefully, you've enjoyed this first video. Uh, please do like the video, so I have a pretty good idea of if you do like it. Because uh, I know a lot of people do view without liking, and obviously that's great, but I, I can't get a full idea of what you think of the series. Uh, so it's just great to know. It does actually, the like dislike ratio does actually uh, make me, well, it allows me to know exactly what to do next. Like if I get a video where I do a certain job and it gets a really bad rating, then I do something completely different in the next one. Um, but of course, if, if you're not liking it, if you do actually like it, it's giving a poor representation of uh, what the audience actually thinks. So if you can like it or dislike it, that would be great. Ah, that's quite heavy at the front. Oh, it's because <laughs> I dropped the entire thing off. I think we just dropped the trailer off this time. That's great. Okay, so there we go. Thank you so much again to Simulator Modding NL. I love the map. It's really good. But it's not out yet. This is still work in progress, so that's uh, going to explain any issues you may see. And I might have started the series earlier, but I'm desperate to do a Let's Play on this series because I do like it. On this map, I should say, because I do like it. So, there we go. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. And yes, we'll hopefully have an interactive vote in a few episodes' time. Until then, though, see you again very soon. Bye for now.